Hi, thank you for tuning in on my video and I wanted to give you some of the new features of the new Windows 10 and actually these are my 10 favorite features of it. So let's get started here. Um, everything with Windows 10 as with previous versions of Windows starts with the start button. So the start button is back. The nice thing about Windows 7 I'm sorry with Windows 10 is it combines the best features of Windows 7 and Windows 8. So again if you start with the start button here you have your kind of touchscreen desktop with all of your live tiles and here boom just one button like that you have all of your of your programs if you right click and you have your desktop you know your desk manager your control panel task preview and everything else like that so that's all in one nice nice concise area um, two I really do like what they've done with the full screen programs you know in the past you know if you had a a full screen program it would dominate the whole desktop and you couldn't use it with anything else again this is a tune in app you know I use tune in to listen like to the radio and everything else like that but it works within the constructs of the desktop also so I can bring up a browser I can do that I don't have to half the screen or anything else like that so all of the full screen apps that Windows 8 used to have those have been converted into they're not full screen I mean they can be full screens but they don't have to be so I think that's kinda neat okay now three I really like what, um, what Windows 10 did as far as syncing everything with Google and Apple before that used to be a big battle you know they wouldn't sync they'd make it very difficult well no longer now uh, your Gmail syncs almost seamlessly with um, you know it syncs almost G seamlessly with Gmail with your Apple email uh, your calendars and all that kind of stuff are now really all synced so instead of fighting those companies they decided hey let's not fight anymore let's try to work together and make the experience as easy as possible for the consumer number four is the new browser um, I have always been a a real fan of Chrome it's been my favorite browser probably going on for five or six years I always thought Internet Explorer was kind of bulky so they got rid of it so now they have Microsoft Edge which is the new browser from uh, Microsoft it's very sleek it's very you know very clean kinda of. so here's Chrome over over here and here is the new Edge browser um, it was very 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 easy to sync my favorites I mean it, it was very easy and as a matter of fact one of the nice things that I found is now that I've synced them if I add a favorite over here it automatically shows up in uh, in the new edge browser which is really neat if you happen to use a uh, you know a tablet or a pen you can actually draw on these pages and send them as one complete file to someone so I think that's that's kinda neat okay now another cool thing all of the programs that are used for photos for music for everything else like that have all been revamped and improved so media center is gone um, now they have a new music app it's called groove they have new photo apps everything else like that all of those things are completely revamped so it's all really 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 nice it's all really 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 clean um, and it seems to really 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 just kinda work well I was very very impressed very impressed so let's go to the next thing and this is one of my favorites anyone who has had uh, an Apple you know about Siri if you've had a Google you know about Google now and if you've had a Windows phone you know about their system well now they have it on the desktop also so if you hit here you can just ask it to do anything so let's let's say here set a calendar event when should I schedule the event? Tomorrow. What time does it start? Say 9 a.m. What was the start time? 9 a.m. Sorry, what was the start time? 
9 o'clock a.m. Sure thing. What do you want to call it? Doctor's appointment. All right. Add doctor's appointment to your calendar for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Is that right? That is. That's right. Thank you. Sure thing. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I like that. And obviously when it syncs with your calendars, when it puts that in your calendars here, it also puts it in your Gmail calendar if that's what you use or whatever the case may be. So that's kind of neat. Now, another thing that is really kind of smooth that I had not seen before is you have multiple desktops here. So here, if you go down here in this button, these are the two apps that I have going. But I can go here and I can create a whole nother desktop. And what the second desktop is, it's almost like having a dual monitor screen without having the dual monitors. So on this desktop, let's say I open up an Internet Explorer, and let's not make it full screen, and then let's say I open up um, Acrobat. So I have these two on this screen here, and one could be, you know, a desktop for work, one could be for play you know one could be for stock apps another could be for whatever the case may be and you see I have two different desktops here and I can switch back and forth between the two you know and it can be more than two it could be three or four or five or six whatever the case may be but it allows you to have a multiple work environment and keep them separated so I think that is kind of kind of neat uh, let's get rid of desktop number two Boom. And then it consolidates everything, obviously, into desktop number one. And there we go. So another thing, let's close these here so we can see really good. Um, down here, we have a notifications area. This notifications area pretty much has everything that you would want to know. This one is, is kind of empty right now because I've already cleared out my emails right now. But normally, all of your emails, any calendar things that you had coming up, um, any notifications as far as you know disable these apps to help improve perf you know, performance almost anything that it, that the computer would want to tell you about is here so and then obviously you have a tablet mode connect mode note mode and everything else down there quiet hours and things like that so you can actually turn your notifications on and off if there's sometimes you don't want notifications to be appearing let's say at night because the notifications actually pop up on your on your screen so you can shut those off and have quiet hours picked also now let's go to the next thing which is the cross-platform um, syncing regardless of how you're using Windows 10 whether it be on a desktop whether it be on a tablet or whether it be on a phone the experience is supposed to be the same and it is so pretty much once you do something on one let's say for instance you sync a hotspot uh, with your tablet if you bring your laptop to that same place it will also show up and the password will already be in there so think of Windows 10 as kind of an overall OS for your tablet for your desktop for your laptop and it's not just on this computer it's in the cloud so all of those settings are being shared between all of them all of your bookmarks are being shared between all of them everything else like that Windows 10 is really syncing everything among all of your Windows 10 devices and it's making it a seamless experience regardless of whether it's a desktop or a tablet the last thing that I really 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 like about it is if you have signed up it is free starting July 29th so if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 go down here in the corner there should be a little Microsoft symbol it'll look just like this except it's over here you click on it you register and sometime after July 29th it's free free F R E E free thank you for uh, you know tuning in on, on my video Please like and please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.